G'day Year 11, quick video today. We are gonna be looking at Lesson 10, which is a documentary on Netflix called The Social Dilemma. It's actually titled a docudrama. So it's very different from a documentary. It's much more engaging and dramatic. What this documentary is looking at is how communication technology has changed social interactions and social behavior. Now you are absolutely gonna love this documentary. I've seen it. Um, a few times now it's very good it's very engaging it's very current and relevant it was only released last year a lot of the data here is super duper relevant you're going to be watching this and you're going to be nodding your head and one getting a little bit scared um, about your phone and what it's doing to you uh, two about social media and how much algorithms play in changing and affecting your behavior that you have absolutely no idea of how they do but then three it gives you a little bit of hope towards the end on how we can limit its use and use it to the best of our ability without having it, I guess, control us, right? That we stay in the driver's seat there. So the first thing that I want you to do though is look at these two images here, which are used to market the docudrama. So we're gonna do a content analysis here in a qualitative method. I want you to examine the two images and I want you to tell me what you think they convey about the message of this docudrama. So here we've got, you know, the Instagram like, but it's underneath a bear trap or a, or a death trap. What's that trying to say? Here we've got an image of someone's brain uh, with an emoji type thing, but it, it almost looks like the brain has all this coding and algorithms and, you know, you've got a certain emotion being depicted here that it's almost lifeless, right? So what do you think those two images there are saying about this docudrama? Once you have done that, I'm going to, I've put the link here, so you can type that into your browser and that will take you straight there. So you will need a Netflix account to watch this, okay? In the event, now I know, I'm assuming most of you have a Netflix account or you're mooching it off someone um, who does. In the event you don't have one, I would like you to first ask around with your friends to see if you might be able to borrow their login to watch it. Or two, you and your friends can watch it at the same time. You can do this through a Zoom call and have someone turn the volume up loud so, and then share their screen and you can watch it all at the same time. That would be the second option. The third option thereafter is if you have tried option one and two and they failed, let me know because I do have a big alternative worksheet that you can do instead. Um, it's nowhere near as good as this and it's a lot longer than this. Um, so if you don't have access to Netflix, just let me know and I can send that your way. Okay, but try those two options first. Check in with, um, check that you already have it. If you don't, check in with your friends, see if you can borrow their account. If not, watch it live with your friends through the Zoom if you can. And if that's still there, not an option, let me know and I can give you some alternate uh, work to do. Okay, I had this planned when we were gonna be in the classroom and I would just flick it up using mine. Um, but yeah, let us know, okay? There's some questions that I want you to complete. The first one is previewing. So that means before you've watched it, you answer these uh, questions here and you just write your answer in the little text boxes. And then if you can, if you're gonna watch it with your friends, discuss these ideas before you watch it. And then as you're watching it, answer each question as you go, okay? After you've done that, there is a short peel question that I want you to complete. Okay, so you're assuming that this is a whole essay, so you're not gonna write an introduction or a conclusion here. You're gonna assume that you've already done that. This is just one peel paragraph, okay? But the essay question is, evaluate the role of communication technology in the social control of individuals. So what you are doing there, evaluate, you're making a judgment, saying whether something is positive or negative. So you're saying whether the role of communication technology in social control is a good or bad thing. One peel, okay? Make a stance, whether you think it's good or bad, I don't, I don't mind, but back it up with examples, okay? That is your uh, lesson for that day. So one peel, once you've read all of these questions and completed viewing the documentary, it's a very good one. I'm sure you'll love it. 